it's not ready. Just turn on the control. Welcome to the AgriCast, the official podcast at agrogamer.com. This is episode 50, and I'm your host, Michael Camacho. My co-hosts, as always, are Brian Bentley and Ben Wynn. Woo, we'll woo. Well. <laughs> 50. <laughs> yeah, and 50. we have brought back a special guest, an old co-host of mine, back when we were known as Total Meltdown. Mo Power, a.k.a. Shannon Hammerbacher. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Oh, bitches! <laughs> so what's up, Mo? Oh, nothing. You know, same old, same old shit. I can still cuss, right? I can yeah. still yes. cuss. With this? Okay, yes, cool. Yes, awesome. Yeah, I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, me on the show, you can still cuss. It's sweet. Oh, good. I make sure our cl- our level of class is always yes. at the very highest it can be. Yes. <laughs> Which is not that high at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Class. If that's what you call it. <laughs> Uh, more like With Mike around, there's always some sort of class. <laughs> <sighs> That's but all life right. has been good. I mean, you know, busy. Which is, you know, why I had to leave in the first place. Sad face. <laughs> hey, but you're writing a comic strip now and drawing I'm, it. Yeah, I'm working on it. It's, it's proving to be tough. Um, I'm trying to really, like, buckle down and keep with like the schedule that I have set for myself but uh, it's why don't tough. you tell people about it because I know I enjoy it um I started a web comic uh lucille comic at or dot blogspot dot com um that's gonna change to just lucille comic soon I just don't know when um but it's basically like a story about my cat and it's like in manga style Because my fiancé and I are just, we have this crazy cat, and she's just goofy, and she does the strangest shit. So I thought one day, why don't we make a comic out of it? And that's kind of like where Lucille, a cat story, kind of came in. And he writes it, and I draw it, and it's it's pretty fun. It's fun. Nice. But it's tough. He is calling me for some reason. You know I am on a podcast right now. (laughs) Oh my god. What? We just got the red ring of death on our Xbox. Oh. That's funny. Ooh. Oh. oh my god. Well, you know what? This is why I have a savings account in times of crisis. <laughs> hey, go get the Modern Warfare 2 bundle. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot Time believe of... this. Times of crisis of the Xbox is dying. Oh my gosh. Wow, that totally threw me off. <laughs> Go figure, though, right? It's perfect timing. Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. Maybe it heard you were buying another game, and it was like, no. Mom, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, do what Mike says. Just get the Modern War, um, yeah, Modern Warfare Two uh, Xbox. It doesn't even look like a Modern Warfare. But it looks Xbox. awesome, regardless. Yeah, it does. Plus, it's got 250 gig hard drive. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nice. And two controllers. <laughs> And you could take the game and sell it for like fifty bucks and get fifty bucks back. It comes with a game. It comes yeah, with Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, for two, yeah. Mm. Headset, two controllers, game, two fifty hard drive. Nice. Yeah. I think I might have to do that. Yeah, it's like four hundred <laughs> bucks, but you can get fifty back just from the game alone. So, I've been thinking. I've been trying not to buy it. I'll put it that way. I'm yeah. like hoping mine red rings. I'm like, come on, red ring. I want a new heart. I want a new console, baby. <laughs> yeah, but man, when you see that, those flashing lights, man, it's... See, I've seen that before, but it was actually my video cable came unplugged, and it almost looks like it. It's two rings instead of um, oh, okay. three. Yeah, we got three. Uh. Man. Two consoles, I've never had it happen. I've been lucky. <laughs> yeah, you I know really... people have had five or six, <laughs> seven. I'm yeah, still on my first... Yeah, I'm I'm still on my first Xbox right now, and the only time it uh, it uh, red ring was when I first turned it on. After well, that, I turned it off and I put power back up, and it worked. Uh, ever since then, it worked. So, how I'm, long have you had it though? Like, did you get is like one of the first editions that came out, or? No, I think I've had it uh, close to a year now. Oh, okay, that might be why though. Yeah, I've had one for over three years. Uh, my stepbrother now has it because he came back from Florida, so I let him borrow it. Hmm. 
And I have my other one, which is like 15 months old. Which I think the CD drive is, sounds like it's going to die before it red rings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never had a problem. You don't own one. Because <laughs> you don't Because <laughs> 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 you're left out. <laughs> oh. Does, does the PS3 have like the equivalent of... Yes. Does it? Okay. It's got the yellow light of death. <laughs> Except the thing is, like, I was arguing with people because they're like, oh, more 360s, red ring. And I'm like, yeah, but Microsoft gives you that three-year warranty. Your your PS3 goes up with that yellow light of death, and you're paying $150 to fix it. Man, that sucks. Unless it did it within the first year. After the first year, you're paying 150 So at least with Microsoft, they get two extra years out of it. Yeah, but how many of those people are now out of that time period, that three years? Yeah, but after three years, I mean, you've, you've got your money's worth out of a console, in my opinion. I had, I'm on my third PS2, each one lasting only a year and a half until the last one. So. Really? Yeah, only... even the PS1, I had, to f- I had to start flipping it over. Like, we used to flip our PS1s upside down to what? let it keep bringing discs. Yeah, I never heard of that. So it was funny because when I first heard about it, I thought my friend was crazy. I saw him do it and it started reading. So I had to. Then mine started doing it where it wouldn't read a disc sitting upright. So I was like, okay, let me flip it over and it would read. It was weird. But no, all consoles do it. All consoles are eventually going to go bad. Yeah. And with the amount some of these people play, it doesn't surprise yeah. me. Oh, yeah. So when I only play my consoles, I think the most I've ever played was. This past weekend, I played Dragon Age. Or no, last week when we had the day off, I played Dragon Age for 11 hours. Um, wow. That's a lot for me. Normally, I don't go over four or five tops. Because I don't want my console to overheat. So. Now, let me ask... I knew any of you guys might be able to answer this. Now, when I worked for EB Games, we took in dead consoles. Do they still do that? I don't yeah, think so. They do, do they? for less money. Yeah. Because they refurbish them themselves. Yeah. That that way they can sell uh, their own like two three year warranties on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never do that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't ladies. because people are now trading in uh, those banned hacked consoles. To oh yeah. TV I games heard about and GameStop and they don't check. Um, I heard some people are getting banned that bought theirs used from those stores and Microsoft's kind of like it's your mm-hmm. responsibility to make sure you're not buying a yeah hacked console which I don't blame them. They don't want people to buy used. They want them to buy new. Right, exactly. <sighs> well, they were all going up on eBay. And Craigslist, yeah. I mean, yeah. Craigslist is what I meant to say. But here's my thing. You know this console's had the red ring problem. Why would you ever buy a used one? Ever. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, it's just like kind of like our Garmin that we have. He got it refurbished, and the on and off button doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the last the car I had before my Scion. I got it used, and I was fixing it every three to six months. Ugh. I bought a new car, and I think the only thing I've done is change the oil and tires when needed. I know. I'm telling you, I've always had new cars too. Of course, we got Scions, so you know we're. Yeah, Scions are awesome. People. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, Infinity Ward thinks so. Dude, we're all over that game. You... <laughs> <laughs> in the in the map, um, where you're at the house. Yeah. There's a white Scion TC. I'm like, that's my car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you blow it off? You were parked outside. <laughs> I know. It's rad. And, like, according to Infinity Board, everybody in, you know, Northern Virginia has a Scion TC. <laughs> like, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Real quick, let's get everybody else's. Uh, how are we doing? Brian? Uh, you know, doing pretty well. Just been, uh, just been busy with work and stuff, you know, and playing games. Yeah, but you have something special going on tomorrow. Well, actually, we did some on uh, last Friday. We were look or last Saturday. We were looking at reception halls, um, for the wedding. So and we're uh, all invited, right? Yeah. So we were looking we... at reception halls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That was from that was that's just getting back from before. Mm. <laughs> But uh, but yeah no so we got uh, two places we're looking at tomorrow two on Thursday and a couple on Saturday we're really trying to hit up you know as many places as possible but the crazy thing is is uh, you know they give us you know they give you those packets and they sort of 
brush over a lot of the details. So I started going through the packets today and like putting together, you know, like how much meals are going to cost per person, how much, you know, uh, liquor is going to cost per person. And like, then yeah. like gratuity. Well, yeah, well, believe me, we're right away. We're like, it has to be an open bar. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like if they want to buy, you know, like super high premium, whatever, that's, that's their problem. But you give them the house liquor. Yeah. Say, hey, oh. you want the top shelf, you pay yeah. for it. Yeah. That's your own thing. But so I mean, we have to have an open bar period. So um, then they're like, oh, yeah, and there's, like, a gratuity and, like, the tax for the, you know, like, the state tax on everything. And all of a sudden, it's like, holy crap. But, like, one place uh, for 225 people is uh, $13,725. It almost makes it tempting to say, hey, we're just going to be happy being engaged and living together the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. After all that money comes out, you're going to be like, shit, why didn't we just do that? It's crazy. It is just crazy how much all this stuff costs. So, but no, yeah, we're really excited and uh, and it's fun to go see stuff and imagine what it'd be like. Yeah. Should be interesting. Yeah, I'm going to the Justice of the Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to get a dress. <laughs> oh. We really weren't really allowed to do that. I joked jokingly said to my mother once about. Uh, Oh, yeah, well, we're going to elope, and she's like, it would break my heart, and I would disown you. Okay, oh well, that... Gosh. Oh, okay, wow. don't hold back. Just, just lay it on me. Wow, I like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. funny. So, here you go. So, Ben, what about you? What have you been up to? Um, I just finished uh, one of my classes today. And I hear you did very well. Um, yeah, got a B on the test and an A on my final project, so... Because I missed like the three weeks in the beginning of the class, yeah, and like all those all that those works uh, and assignments that I couldn't couldn't make up, well, I ended up with like a C plus, so I'm I'm content with that. So, um, you know, I, I made it up because you know I was like literally I was like failing, if I if if I didn't turn it in and uh, all my work and get like at least an A, or higher or a, a B or higher, I mean, and then well. It worked out to where overall I was, I'm getting a C plus, so I'm you know I'm really content with that. Slip them a hundred and get a B minus out of it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> hey, there's a I think it's elementary schools that are doing that or middle school. That's oh, awesome. They're selling grades for for a fundraiser. Wow. Well, it's really? like one test you could pay for like an A or something. Oh my like that. god. Grade. <laughs> I can't remember if it was like you bring oh you bring it up one grade or a failing grade to a D or something. I was That's like, this is ridiculous right. that we're now selling grades. That is not right. Here, you want an A? Buy this. What? Yeah, they said the regular fundraisers weren't raising money, so they decided to sell grades. Yeah, that, that, that's one way to cheat the system, I guess. But yeah, I have my uh, my last class for my um. Problem solving class tomorrow, so and I, I I'm passing in that one, so it shouldn't matter how I do tomorrow. Cool. So. Very cool. Yeah. Other than that, um, I got a call last week from my old work. Um, last Wednesday actually, and I was in class, and they said, "Hey, we have an IT position for you. If you're still interested in working in San Diego, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me?" After yeah, all that shit you went through? Yeah, after all that BS I went through, you, you're finally calling me now in November. Hey, even if, if, I'm telling you right now, if you take it, I'd want all that paperwork signed before you fly out there. Oh, absolutely. I'd be oh, like, I'm no, not I'm... flying back out there again to be told, hey, you're going back to Detroit. Fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, they're supposed to give me a call about all the rest of the details, and I called them, like, all last week. Um, it, it was like the one thing like was bothering me all last week was just that like finding out the details whether I'm like leaving soon or whatnot and I couldn't concentrate I, I couldn't really do anything at all. Just and gotta it, pack it, up it, Stacy and you get going. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> it huh. sucks though because she wants to go but she just can't just you know pick up and move. So so it, that sucks. Yeah. I feel but we'll, we'll we'll see though. Hopefully, I'll know sometime soon. Cool. 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 Well, as for me, I've had I've been 
pretty busy with work mostly, but I have done some cool things like uh, picked up the Korean channel package on Verizon Fios. Um, I, I had been on the fence about buying it because it's twenty five dollars a month, but um, when I bought it recently, they give you like three months free. Oh, nice! So I figured I'll check it out, see, check it out for a while, and there's really only one channel in the package I liked. But then I read up, and they're getting another channel on there soon. Ben, you know the channels. NBC is the one they have. Oh, okay. And, but they're adding SBS soon. So I figured, hey, two great channels. I can't wait. Not all the stuff is subtitled. Well, actually, most isn't. But I noticed a few of the drama shows are. So it's been cool to sit down and just start watching that. And they're already subtitled for me. Nice. Um, actually, it's on right now. It's some weird show. I don't know. It's like married couples talking or something. <laughs> Jerry um, Springer? Being, yeah, there's like comedians on there too. So they're like having fun and joking. Um, it's not like Jerry Springer, no. You are not the baby daddy. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like mostly just couples telling funny stories about each other. So. Well, I'm watching SWAT on FX right now, so. <laughs> um, Ew. Wow. <laughs> I checked out the new uh, Xbox stuff. Um, Twitter's fail, Facebook is fail on there, because I could rather do that stuff on my computer. Yeah, um, exactly. The one thing I did like was the last .fm. Um, I like the fact that since I have been using it for so long and I've um, scrabbled, which is basically their way of tracking what you've been listening to, I've scrabbled so many songs to their database. They have all these stations. Most of it seems Korean music, of course. But they have all these stations that if I put them on, it's not just that artist. It's like artists similar as well. So I'll be listening. All of a sudden, an artist that's similar will come on. And it's really cool because I'm hearing some songs that I know and then some songs that I don't know. So I like that and I liked having it on. Um, I wish you could do it while you're playing games. And I think that's what makes the Twitter part suck. I want the Twitter on Xbox Live to say, hey... I just unlocked these five achievements while playing the game, this game. Or I just jumped on to Modern Warfare 2 playing Team Deathmatch. Why do I have to go to outside sites to do that? If you're adding it to the 360, it should automatically be able to update that stuff. So, that's just something I've checked out. Um, let's see. Not much else is going on. Getting ready for my trip down to Alabama next week. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alabama. Hey, you're coming down here to the sale. Yeah, I know. Oh, twelve-hour drive. Not oh, too so you're bad. Driving? Yeah. Um, oh, man. It was an extra two hundred thirty for the flight. Ah. And that's on top of the. It was. It's two hundred for the hotel. Um, it'll be about one fifty there and back for gas because my car can go forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thirty-four miles to the gallon is so noticeable when you're making long trips. Yeah. Um. So. And then. They wanted three hundred and eighty dollars for a flight. Sure. So I said I'll save that two thirty and drive. <laughs> I don't mind it. I mean I'm just gonna have a bunch of the other podcasts on and just go. What time or what town are you gonna be in? Um, Huntsville, Alabama. Oh, I don't know where that's at. So it's further north than Alabama. Ah. So it's only twelve hours, which isn't bad. I've made mm -hmm. worse drives. So that should be cool. So that's why, after this show, just a heads up to everybody listening, we're not going to have a podcast. Well, if we do, I won't be on the podcast the following week. That's up to Brian and Ben. <laughs> so wait, since I went to... When did I leave Total Meltdown? Um, oh crap, last January. Last January? So, you and I actually met. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We we did April. meet. Um, you came up uh, for what a week? Yeah, for a week visiting, you know, family and stuff for yeah. Easter, and you treated us to Mexican food, and we all died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to the mall, and you tried to rock out to Guitar Hero in the arcade. Mm -hmm. Failed. Well, I think it's so stupid how like they have the rock hands, just like you know, just rocking out, but it's blocking the notes, so you can't see. When you need to hit the notes. Yeah. It's like, this is so stupid. I just paid a dollar to play this <laughs> goddamn game, and I can't even play it. Yeah, that was definitely expensive. <laughs> I know. 
a freaking dollar to play Guitar Hero. I mean, I could do that for DDR. I'd do that. Yeah, I'd do that for DDR. Play, you know, pay a dollar. Oh, yeah. No, DDR's great. Oh, DDR's awful. If you wanted to watch somebody trip over themselves, put me on a DDR machine. Because, <laughs> like, I'll start doing okay, and then I start focusing too much on the machine, and I forget that I need to move both feet. So I try to move one, and then I'm, all, like, falling all over the place. It's horrible. That's hilarious. But, oh, that that, yeah, that day we... I met you and Mike. It was such a wonderful day for weather. Oh, wasn't it? It was all oh, rainy and God, stuff. God, it was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to go to work. I believe it was. Yeah. yeah. I had to go home and sleep to go to work. That sucked. Yeah. But you got to come back up. You know, there's I, always Otakon. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I would really like to get up there for Otakon again. <laughs> it was cool this past year. I met Mew and um, Kevin from Agro Gamer was out there. Well, I, I hung out with him last year as well. Yeah, it was cool meeting Mew. Interesting. Now, are you going to go to MAGFAST? The, the video game convention? I don't know. I need to look into that for date and time and all. January really 1. Yeah. January, like, something like 3rd of 4th or 2nd and 4th. To the I 3rd. think Nicola's still going to be here. I might not. Oh, okay. Because so, it'll be her final days, and I don't want to spend it at a convention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh my god. What? What? I'm watching this Korean show, and she's asking questions, and if this guy gets the answer wrong, they beat him over the head with something. Damn. Like, it's breaking. <laughs> I, don't, I can't tell if it's like a pottery thing. Or what? what? They're literally smacking him over the head, and it's breaking as it hits him. Oh my god. It's There's... hilarious. Or it's like a shell to like a... Not a coconut, but it's like a shell or something. And he got it wrong, and they hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's Why like, those, oh! Oh, my God, those shows are so weird. Like, those Asian shows. But they're like, always better than ours, because they beat the shit out of each other and not <laughs> Well, uh, people in America would sue. That's I, the... I just... I don't know. What's well, the difference shows... between watching it there and watching watching stuff here? You know? Over there, it's like they don't care. It's like it's yeah. part of part of the fun. Over here, it's like, oh my god, they shouldn't be doing that. Now this couple's arguing. I don't blame him though. He just got beat over the head like five times. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you should have answered it right. You can tell she's like, why did you get those right? He's like, you fuck. <laughs> <That shit hurt." laughs> like when he got hit on the last one, he turned to the guy hitting him and just shook him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like you're supposed to be on my side, man. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. This is better than when Ben was watching uh, WrestleMania. <laughs> during the podcast. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, why don't we jump into what we've been playing. Um, we're going to let Brian <laughs> start off. Because yeah. he is going to need to talk now. <laughs> Yeah, um, I have the dubious honor of being basically the one person who hasn't played Modern Warfare 2. So what I have been playing is I've uh, been playing a little Torchlight. Uh, I've been working on the review copy of uh, Lego Rock Band. Uh, it's fun in a sort of training wheelsy-ish sort of way. Uh, it's cute and clever, but uh, it only has like 45 songs and... It's, uh, I will say it's very forgiving. Like, if you are missing the note, you can still catch it pretty easily. Um, but other than that, I've been playing some Wii Sports Resort, which uh, I was been, like I said last week, I really enjoy the uh, island flyover just because it's really mm-hmm. calming and just kind of, just kind of a nice thing to relax to. Like uh, well. And I found, I found uh, the, uh, all 80 points on the island, like in the, in the flyover area, and I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." And then I realized that no one cares and no one knows because they're because uh, the Wii um, Wi-Fi network is terrible, and uh, <laughs> so it's like, "Oh, well, this was really good in an intrinsic sort of way." Yay! Uh, uh, I think all the Wi-Fi's on the consoles are bad. I don't think the PS3 one is that great either. 
You ever try to download a firmware update on the PS3 Wi-Fi? It took. Oh uh, yeah, I, it was I, I, really because the first time I ever had to do it, it was going up by one percent every five minutes. Oh jeez! Oh, I started oh, nice. going. This is fucking ridiculous. I am gonna go find a hard wire to run from the router to my PS3. Oh, I I just called like Nintendo calls their online service Nintendo Wi-Fi. That's why I was calling it that. Oh. Um. But it's like, oh, great! Now no one knows I'm I've done this because, well, there's no trophies or achievements or anything really. <laughs> uh, in fact, and most of the people that I am connected no to play. don't even know because no one cares. Uh, other than that, I did pick up uh, new Super Mario Brothers for Wii uh, last um, last Sunday, and I put it in for a little bit, and it was fun. And then I went back to Lego Rock Band because I really <laughs> not. So that's about it for me. Now on to Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> well, before we get into that, I decided, let me talk about the few things that aren't Modern Warfare 2 first, <laughs> just to get that out of the way. Um, so I finally finished Dragon Age. Um, all I have to say is, if you're a Bioware fan, if you're a Baldur's Gate fan, or just a Western RPG fan, you got to play that game. It is fucking awesome. I know, Shannon, you really enjoyed Oblivion. I did, and I, I I would love to play it, but you unfortunately now I have Red Ring Death. Tr- no, trust me, but you, if you get a chance, supposedly Best Buy. Oh, um, sorry, this dude just got popped <laughs> twice on this show. <laughs> <laughs> like right in a row, the one guy hit him, the other guy's well. Let me do it too. And popped him. He's like, and they replayed it like three times because of his face. But um, anyway, uh, <laughs> now Best Buy's supposedly gonna have it for thirty five dollars on Black Friday. Wow. Really? That's the rumor, yeah. So, just a heads up. <laughs> We're supposed to be, supposedly, Left 4 Dead 2 is going to hit that price point, too, for 360 Huh. But, um, no, Dragon Age was awesome. At one point, I don't know if I talked about this last week, at one point you're doing this thing in the dwarf thing where you have to decide between two people who you're going to support. Well, whenever you're done, the one who loses, the, the town crier was there going, blah, blah, blah person didn't make it whatever and then it goes epic fail uh, and i just died laughing i was like did that guy really just say epic fail <laughs> i was like oh my god that's awesome so i just loved how bioware kind of threw that in there like little inside jokes i mean you get them all throughout um i finished one ending and i'll be honest i started playing some modern warfare 2 and all and i was like i want to go back and start my next playthrough of dragon age this time I want to be a complete dick. <laughs> like, because I was trying to be the nice guy. And, uh, it was just... It's a lot of fun. Definitely a long game. It took me 40 hours, and I, didn't, I barely touched side quests. Nice. Good. I like I like games like that. Just now, where you can just divulge just all this time into it. Yeah. And now... At the end, it's not like Oblivion where you can keep walking around, though. Like, it ends. Oh, okay. It's definitely set up for a sequel. Which, I don't blame them. (laughs) It's definitely deserving of a sequel, and I can't wait to see where it goes. And I hope it's kind of like Mass Effect 2, where it brings however you finish the first one, and that's how you go into your next one. And they work it around that. Yeah. Um, Other than that, I played a little bit of Left 4 Dead 2 earlier today, because I just got it in the mail. I was playing with Andy and Jeff Threat, um, who Andy, for most should know, owns Aggregamer and Pwn.com. Uh, Jeff Threat was actually interviewed on this podcast um, mm-hmm. earlier this year or late last year. Um, we were playing. It was kind of laggy. I don't know if it was on my side because I was hosting, but it was just weird that we were lagging because I don't lag anywhere else. Um, but... I just thought it was more of the same for me to drop sixty dollars on it. Well, I paid fifty after Amazon discounts and stuff. Um, but it just still seemed like I was like, I don't know. I I thought the whole time reading up the previews and all that that it wouldn't matter that the first one just came out last year. But now after playing it, it's really hitting hard. Hmm. Like it's kind of like okay, maybe they should have waited another year. Or maybe, yeah, they should have released this as a DLC for $40 more. And just say, hey, you want it? Buy it as a DLC and we'll you can download it. 
but buying it is a whole new game, kind of like, I don't know, I'm just, I need to play more, I guess, because all the additions aren't enough. Um, I will say the jockeys are fucking annoying. <laughs> uh, especially for Jeff Threat. <laughs> he kept running ahead a bit, and next thing you know, he'd be like, fucking jockey, get him off! <laughs> he was getting pissed, because every time we turned around, we were chasing after him, trying to get the jockey off him. <laughs> now, I did get a jockey early on, and it almost threw me off a building. Luckily, he fell off, and I clunk. I held on until somebody grabbed me. Um, nice. The chargers are actually pretty cool. But they'll kill you really quick if you get caught, but they're easily killed. Um, and the spitters, man, those are some ugly bitches. Ugh. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me when the first time I ran straight forward and it popped out in front of me. I was like, oh, shit. And all the other ones are still there, so it's not like you're just fighting a smoker, boomer, hunter now. It's like, no, you got to worry about all six, seven of these things coming at you now. Nice. And when we were trying to do the very last part, which we ended up giving up on because um, it kind of sucks having one computer player and three humans. Because you're always worried about that, <laughs> what the computer's yeah. randomly running off doing. <laughs> and um, it just seemed like all of them were coming out of nowhere at once and we were just getting overwhelmed. It was kind of like, okay, this is fucking crazy. But, That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, and but the problem is it just feels, like I said, a little more of the same. I'll play a little more before I make a final verdict, but at this point, I kind of regret paying the $50. But we'll see in the end. It'll prove me wrong, probably. <laughs> so, um, and I played some Pinball Heroes. For those with the PSP Go or like to download games for their PSP to the memory card, Pinball Heroes is basically um, small mini pinball games to take on the go. They're $5 a piece. I think I paid $4 the first week they were out. They may be $5 now. Um, they're not bad. I didn't think the pain one was that good, but the bowling one was cool, the Uncharted one was cool, and so was the Hot Shots Golf. And it's what you're going to expect. For 5 bucks, you're just looking at a little pinball game that's a nice pick up and play when you don't have a lot of time to play something. Um, other than that, Modern Warfare 2. Ah. Uh, Wait, oh. what's that game? So, <laughs> Shannon, since you're our guest, why don't you start off with your thoughts and feelings on this game? Last oh. week, we actually covered the controversial parts. Oh, the no Russian level? That and the fact that you're playing in, like, the D.C. area, because I yeah. said that part disturbed me more than the no Russian part. Well, I mean, so, I understand, I understand that. For people, spoilers, just in case. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I mean, there's really no way you can talk about the game without kind of giving away yeah. some kind of spoiler. But um, hopefully a lot of people that are listening will have already played yeah. through it. So I understand the whole controversy with the no Russian part. Because, like, that kind of, like, freaked me out a little bit, too. But then, like, the whole the war part in, you know, our neck of the woods and, like, the D.C. area and stuff, it's, it's like, it's no different than Fallout. You know what I mean? It's like, I kind of got the same feeling that I got from Fallout, knowing that, you know, it's not, well, hopefully it won't happen, but <laughs> I, I just, it, I, I didn't really feel like, I, I didn't like the no Russian part more. Um, yeah. That that really kind of was like, I'm going to just shoot at the wall. Hopefully the CPU knows that I'm not killing any of the civilians. <laughs> but, Which um, you actually can do. Oh, I know, I know, but I just, I don't know, there was just something where I just feel like I didn't want to do that. Yeah, Mike, I, on the other hand, went through and just, bam, killing everybody. I did it first because I didn't know you could just shoot around. I was like, maybe it'll end it if you don't kill anyone. Uh -huh. So at some point, I just finally said, you know what, I'm just going to pick off the people that are laying there bleeding to death. I'm just going to put them <laughs> out of their misery so they don't suffer. I'm like, sorry, guy. Oh, oh I'm sorry. And that's what I was doing. Until you started fighting the cops, then I shot. I mean, at that point. Yeah, I, I just... I don't know. I just wanted I, to end it. I was like, this is taking too long if you don't shoot the cops. Yeah, because, I mean, you're just slowly walking through. And that kind of gives it the really weird, like, on this yeah. feeling. Because you're just slowly walking. Yeah. But, There's um, people who I've heard on other podcasts say they'll never play that part again. 
Really? And it, really? some of it deals with it being disturbing, and some people are like, it just doesn't feel necessary. They're like, they felt like there's other ways they could have done the trigger of the war, or at least shown it, not made you be a part of it. And hmm. some say it just felt like they're just trying to... Um, one podcast, was it the Giant Bombcast I was listening to today, said it felt like we're at the end of Modern Warfare 1, where it's like this, oh my fucking god, did that just happen moment. Mm-hmm. Like, this game tries to shove that out to you every 45 minutes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did notice that. I I did notice that. I don't really have an issue with that so much. Um, I personally, I loved, I loved it. I like it better than the first one. The campaign just, like, really sucked me into it. And unlike a lot of other first-person shooters, like, I felt more connected to the actual characters. Because usually, like, I couldn't tell you any of the names from Ghost Recon or yeah. Rainbow Six or, you know, even with Halo. I didn't, I've never was like, oh, my God, Master Chief, oh, my God. But this game, like, I felt, I felt <laughs> like I could, like, I could really relate to the characters. Yeah. So that was that was nice. Um, the story was a little hard to follow because it was just everything just seemed like it was moving so fast. Yeah. I do like the fact Keith David does the voice in it. Ah, who was that? He's the black know. guy that starts you off in the beginning. He uh, did the Arbiter and Halo. He's done Julius and Saints Row. He's in a lot of video games now. Yeah, he's in a lot of video games. <laughs> like mm-hmm. any game, I'm like any game he touches now is like you know it's gonna be a good game because it's like he puts himself out there for the top studios. Hmm. You, wait, you're talking about the uh, the Black Commander? Yeah. Well, didn't he do the voice uh, in uh, Mass Effect also? The... Yeah, he did uh, hmm. Captain Anderson in Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah oh. that's what I'm saying. He knows when a game's going to be good. He's like, yeah, you, I'll, I'll do this game for you. Just because I'm in it, you know this game's going to be good. <laughs> so, like, I hear Keith David, I'm like, this game's going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> But, um, no, I think, um, the one thing about Modern Warfare 2 I had an issue with was when you start fighting, unfortunately, in Northern Virginia area, even Mm -hmm. so close to home. But, no, I had problems at times distinguishing the enemy soldiers from my guys. Oh, I agree. There were times I was shooting my guys, they're like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, check for fire. you You look just like this guy. Your green shit with your name didn't pop up quick enough. And I thought that was something they could have easily done a better job distinguishing. It was just too much. And the other part I hated was when you're in Brazil running through that villa. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was so tough. I had it on, I... like, the easiest setting, and I was getting my ass whooped. And I'm like, okay, this feels like the problem everybody had with Modern Warfare 1, where the guys just don't fucking stop. Mm-hmm. And I just said, fuck it, I'm running through the whole level. And I had to stop every once in a while to to stop bleeding to death and then start <laughs> fucking running again until I got to the end. Like, it wasn't fun at that point. Or that part that was like Mirror's Edge meets Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know the part where you're running on the roof? All of a sudden you're in like Mirror's Edge style running? That was tough. Like, I just I, I really, like, that part was that really, like, stumped me. I was so pissed yeah. off because I thought okay, did I just, did I accidentally switch it to the hardest setting? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's what I thought too. Yeah, that part sucked a lot. Like I have, was having difficulty just like go, going through and just I'm being shot somewhere. I'm turning around like where they're at and they're in a, on the roof. Like I'm like, oh great, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, then when you start shooting somebody up on the roof, somebody's coming out behind you from another door, and I was just like, okay, I put it on recruit so I could get to this game quickly. <laughs> now pissing me off to the point where you need to make like a rookie rookie mode or something i don't know rookie recruit because this thing is kicking my ass so you can like just randomly change it while you're playing i don't know i wouldn't do it anyway (laughs) i don't know i think i don't know i think you You might be able to you can you're you're able to okay oh that's kind of cool now what do you think of the multiplayer shannon um it's definitely a bigger camp fest than the first one. I feel like the maps cater very, you know, I feel like the maps cater towards the whole camping and sitting there and picking people off. Do you notice yourself going down a lot quicker? 
Like, I feel like somebody will shoot me with two shots and all of a sudden I'm dead. And I'm looking at the kill camera. I'm like, he shot me twice. And it wasn't even a headshot. <laughs> I feel like they made things a little bit stronger. Like, uh, the guns, as far as the yeah. guns. I feel like the guns are a lot smoother. Um, the sound is actually a lot better coming from the guns. Um, but I feel... I noticed that the grenades, the frag grenades and stuff were a little bit stronger. Um, I like the is, fact that they roll fine. now. Like, if you throw it on a hill, it's going to roll fucking back down at you. Yeah. If you don't throw it correctly, which adds a sense of strategy. But, I don't know. The the maps, they definitely take quite a time. You know, they take time getting yeah. used to. And I just, I, I feel like they cater towards the camping. And I just, I don't like that because all the people, it's kind of like Call of the Modern Warfare 2 turn into what Gears of War Two was like it's yeah. like all like the stupid little Halo kids moved to Gears mm-hmm. of War, and now all the stupid little Gears of War kids have moved to Call of Duty because it was uh, such a huge launch. And you know, mommy, mommy, buy me this game, and just <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know. I yeah. feel like there's more assholes, which makes it a lot not. Well, now as you're fun. stuck listening to them unless you play the Ground War. Oh, if, I know. It, I hate the fact that I'm stuck. Not being able to use party chat, even in team deathmatch, where it doesn't fucking matter. I can't watch people. I mean, mm-hmm. I could if I wanted to, but just turn off the spectator mode. Don't kill my party chat. Who fucking uses spectator mode anyway? I thought that was pretty stupid. I, I really, I didn't know, I didn't know that you couldn't use the team chat when playing team deathmatch. I, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, they need to really fix this. Yeah. I really think they're going to have to patch it at some point because people are starting to get pissed. Like, I'm tired of hearing, not just myself, but everybody getting called a fag, a pussy, a piece of shit. And it's like, uh, the reason why I used party chat in the first place is I didn't have to fucking hear this. It had nothing to do with cheating. I just didn't want to hear the freaking immaturity that is rampant on Xbox Live. And it, that's what you get bad. when you pay for something. No, <laughs> let's be honest. If PS3 had a better service where voice chat worked better, you'd have the same fucking problem. I'm, I'm just. But you know I'm right. Voice chat on the PS3 is not the best, so you don't have that problem. Yeah, well, I could barely hear anyone when you're playing last exactly. night. So. so, it's just I don't know. It, it's like. You gotta do something, and you gotta bring up party chat. You turn it, leave it so you can't use it in hardcore mode. Fine, you want to play hardcore, you can't use party chat. But if I'm in regular team deathmatch, don't yeah, can take that option away from me. I I'm really fucking pissed about that. Either okay, those are so... just non-ranked matches. You should be able to use party well, there's chat. There's no non-ranked. It's kind of like oh. everything gets you XP. Oh. The one thing I do like about this game, I'm getting a fucking shit ton of more knife kills now. Um, <laughs> I've gotten like 15 most knife kill awards out of the two or three nights I've been playing. I mean, I'm constantly running around just slashing people up, making my heritage proud. <laughs> no, no, I've I've gotten a, a lot of knife kills too during the online play because people are camping. I won now, so I'm like sneaking up behind. I'm like, knife kill. <laughs> oh, I want to give a tip to everybody out there. Don't use that radar jam to nearby enemies. That ra- When you pick that perk, it actually will tell people where you are. Wow. What? Like, basically, it doesn't jam the radar until you're really close, and all of a sudden my radar will go, like somebody else is using it. All of a sudden my <laughs> radar goes snowy, and I'm going, somebody's oh. fucking close to me, and all of a sudden I know there's somebody there. Yeah, exactly. Instead of like the first one where you just wouldn't show up, this one only does it when you get close, and it actually jams it. Huh. Um, I think they do have a ninja one called the Ninja Perk where it actually just won't show you on there. But the current one I have is awful. I used it for a while, and then I was wondering why I kept getting picked off when I was running up behind people. <laughs> Because I was like, how the fuck did he know I was there? And then I read somewhere that it, that's not a good perk to use. Now, you didn't beat the game, right, Nitro? Nah, just like the first one. I got kind of bored with the single player. And I was like, I'm going to go play online. But 
I was think I was telling I was telling you earlier, Shannon, that um, when it comes to Call of Duty Four, I could go on there and play by myself for hours. Mm-hmm. This one, I feel like if I'm not playing with friends, I don't want to fucking play. Mm-hmm. Like I I don't want to hear people, and I don't like the fact that I kind of have to have my headset plugged in, or else they come through my goddamn speakers on my TV. Unless I change settings around, and it's just too much work. So I've got, like, my headset on, I'm trying to play. Or not my headset on, but it's laying on the couch, I'm trying to play, but there's wires going across my lap. <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious because, like, I haven't been able to discuss it a whole lot with people as far as, like, the ending and stuff. Because, like, I don't want to give out, like, I don't want to start a conversation on, like, Facebook or Twitter. Because I don't want to give out spoilers. But the ending kind of confused the shit out of me. Yeah. No, it, it confused me, too. Okay, I was going to ask you if it, like, I was like, okay, wait a second. It went from this guy was the bad guy, and then all of a sudden this guy is the bad guy. Well, what happened to the other bad guy? Like, where the fuck did he go? It, did they set it up? Did they purposely set it up for another one? Are they going to have another yeah, sequel? Of course they, they did. Well, fuck yeah. Well, yeah, that's the, that's the only thing I come up with is that they still haven't captured the one, the, the Russian yet. Yeah. Because you're you're chasing over the the one the one guy that you're chasing after at, towards the end, and so it sets up for for another sequel, which mm-hmm. which in my opinion, I'm like, well, then at least make the game longer then instead of just five hours. I know it was very very short. It was very very yeah. short, and the ending was kind of like, like that, a lot of people like that shortness. Yeah, it's yeah, because no one has an attention span anymore. Exactly, exactly. You know, we're all used to RPGs and, like, classic yeah. Japanese RPGs. And, yep. and, you know, we like games like Oblivion and Dragon Age. Well, and even it, Mirror's Edge was eight hours long. That game is not even on the scale of a Modern Warfare, but it had a longer campaign <laughs> than Modern Warfare. Just it just seems, it, to me, it seems like Infinity Ward... Is like this is who we are. Fuck everybody else. We're gonna do what we want because oh, yeah. people are gonna buy our game. And right. I don't know about you guys, with the whole mod, I love the perks. I love the emblems. I love the titles. Now, just being able to kind of set your personality up on there. My problem is, I don't know if you guys have noticed, they've kind of convoluted the the kill streak awards so much that it's just a big fucking mess. It's like a cluster map <laughs> when you're like. Somebody's got a helicopter. The other person on the team is calling in an airstrike. Somebody else has the freaking AC-130 shooting at you. Yeah. Another one's got a predator coming in, and it's like, okay, the other team has no fucking chance at this point. Oh yeah. yeah because it's... these people are calling in four different things at once instead of you guys limiting it to one or two kill streak awards at a time. Because you can have four or five things coming at you through the air, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I, I, I don't like that either. And it's like, they're like, well, this is what we're giving you. Same thing with the party chat. It's like, no, this is our game. We're going to tell you how to play it. Which is fine and everything. I mean, it's a great game. I, I I love it. I will play the campaign again, for sure. But, <laughs> I don't know. I just, there's always going to be something, you yeah. know, nobody likes with every game that comes out. So, I don't know. I just think with the sequel being as big as it is, they didn't, it doesn't have as much, it's more polished than Call of Duty 4, but the polish is in the wrong places. I agree. And all the new spots, like I said, with the Killstreak Awards and all, the polish isn't there to make sure it's fair. And I'm sure it's the first iteration. They're going to come out with patches, and hopefully it'll start fixing this stuff. Yeah. But right now, like, when I get into a game where my team sucks, because I'll be honest, if I'm on a team where everybody else is sucking, I fucking suck because I feel like I've got to take over. And I try to do too much. So, But once you're on a team that's not any good, the other team's just stomping you, like I said, with all those kill streak awards and stuff. And it's just not balanced. And there's well, almost no way to get out of it except for luck sometimes. You know, there's a guy that is on Twitter, um, like four zero something or whatever. Yeah, four zero two. He's uh, Robert yeah. Bowling. Well, he was sending out tweets, I guess, like a long time ago, asking like, "Hey, what would you like to see in this game? What would you like to see in this game?" So, <laughs> I'm wondering, like, if they took anybody's advice. <laughs> I just, I'm wondering. That might be the problem too. 
Yeah. Yeah, so they took people's advice. I, I love, like I said, I love the clan, the the emblems. I love the titles. I love that part because now I'm like my emblems like a kleptomaniac. My or my titles a kleptomaniac. My emblems like a gun, and it gives you that thing. Cause so when people get killed by you, it shows yeah. all that. But there's just a lot of things gameplay wise. I don't feel it's balanced yet. And like mm-hmm. I said, with each patch, hopefully they'll be able to work some of that stuff out. I really hope so, because I'm having fun, but like I said, only when friends are on there. I don't feel like that's a game I want to play when I'm just going on and I don't mm-hmm. see anybody else playing it. I'm going to be like, oh, well, I'm going to go play something else, which is not a good thing. Yeah, it's not a good indicator for your game. Well, the only reason why I feel that way is because of all the little Timmies. And like, oh my god, oh my god, how my mommy let me stay up and play this game tonight. Oh, you assholes, oh, everybody's a faggot. You know, I just, <laughs> they're the reason You why. say Timmy's, I think it's a bunch of fucking Cartmans. <laughs> it's like, that's what Xbox Live is. It's like a bunch of Cartmans thrown on there, just fucking cussing and bashing everybody they can. Because mommy lets them. And if I'm... somebody goes back on them, it's like, man, <laughs> this guy's being a jackass. I forgot I want where my I came up with that. Little Timmy's. I forgot. <laughs> oh, Xbox Live. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so. But uh, it's like. Like I said, Dragon Age, I love it. It's a single player game. And that's immersed me so much more than Modern Warfare 2 has. And the fact that I want to play another playthrough of that game instead of playing Modern Warfare 2 says a lot. Well, games like that just have a great replay quality. Well, yeah, but if you remember, Call of Duty 4 sucked us all in. We, that's all we fucking played. <laughs> like, yeah. That's all everybody played. Everybody's like, no, we're just playing Call of Duty 4. No, we're just playing Call of Duty 4. And then it's like, now I'm like, you know what? This other game kind of interests me a bit more. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I hope they can make the improvements through patches. Otherwise... I don't see myself playing this all the time. Mm-hmm. It'll be a game that sits in my library for when somebody's like, hey, you want to play? Okay. And I don't have the time to sit there and level up to level 50 already like some people had. Well, some <laughs> people already had the game before the street date yeah, also. No. Oh, so. yeah, GameStop was selling it and flat out said when Activision got pissed, they were like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Our customers wanted it. We put it out there. Jeez. Because now, you know has... why? What's Activision going to do? Not send GameStop yeah, fucking games? That's like their biggest market on the brick and mortar side of things. Now, have any of you played Special Ops? I haven't had a chance I to haven't play touched that it. yet. I I'll played a little bit of it. Any good? I've heard a lot of people raving about it, but I just haven't touched it. Yeah, um, me too. I want to try. I want to do it in co-op and see if it's. Oh, you tried to uh, do a single player? Yeah, I did it single. I didn't have. I yeah, haven't done it's that. It's not that fun yet. on single. Hmm. I hear when you get some friends going though. That, that, yeah, that's I, I've heard it. I've heard players, it's really fun. But I played the I single. Two. Yeah, I played the. You know, I played the single, and you know, it's it's not bad. I like it. You know, it, it takes away, you know, from like the the multiplayer or the single player, and you just yeah. doing certain missions. And, you know, yeah. it's almost like almost like that, that quick fix that you need to have for Modern Warfare. Was it so. like Call of Duty Arena or something like that? Uh, Basically, you're kind of like. This is your thing. Go in, kill everybody, and be done. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Kind of like um, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Yeah. It's kind of like the co-op. Dude, I had so much fun playing that co-op. <laughs> there needs to be more of that. Are you getting conviction, Shannon? Um, I probably will, only because I'm a huge like Sam Fisher fangirl. Mm. Um. Double Agent really disappointed me, so I was I was disappointed. That was the first Splinter Cell game I ever played, and I was like, I will never play another Splinter Cell game ever again. This is. But see, that fun. was that was such a bad first choice. Like I tell people, <laughs> Chaos Theory, Chaos Theory, Chaos Theory. I just I don't know. I was I got I was very disappointed in it. I was very disappointed in that game. Yeah, I was, I was sitting there. I was like, this is fucking horrible. How can people? Well, I'm not a stealth fan. That's my biggest issue. Mm-hmm. Like that was one of my problems in the early goings of Uncharted 2 was the stealth. I'm like, fucking hate stealth. But then I get to the freaking all the constant fucking shootouts in Uncharted 2. I'm like, can we go back to stealth? 
<laughs> well, I thought you were a Metal Gear Solid fan. Mm-mm. No? Okay. Uh, that's, Oof, that shit's so crazy. It's boring. <laughs> like, it's just too much for me to take in. Oh. I do want to... I don't know. This is going to be random and out of the blue. Completely off topic. Uh, Ponyo comes out on Blu-ray and DVD on December 8th. Buy it. What is it? Ponyo. The latest uh, How Miyazaki, Miyazaki film. Oh, okay. I saw it in theaters and Nicholas fucking awesome. I'd love to see that on Blu-ray. Sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> I do want to see that now, too. You know what we saw last night? This is totally off topic, but I really, really think that people need to hear this. We saw um, A Christmas Carol in 3D. Oh, my God. Good? That was so amazing. Like, I just was, like, totally blown away. This is the first, like, you know, new age 3D movie that I've seen. And I walked in and I was like, are we going to get those stupid fucking little paper glasses with like a red lens and a blue lens and they give you like these emo glasses but <laughs> they're a lot better looking and they fit better and the 3D is not as cheesy. I mean it, some of this shit was like wow. Like I just wanted to reach out and just touch it. It was it was insane. And the fact that it was CGI in the first place was it that just made it even better. So <laughs> I highly recommend going to see that. Nice. I really do. But um, speaking of, well, never mind. We'll get to that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Well, I think we've covered Modern Warfare too. I'm sure Brian's like, "Come on, let's uh, move on." I've never played Call of Duty Four either, so. I mean, Modern Warfare too, but well, he's like, "Come on, let's go, move on." We've talked enough about this. It's cool. I, I think it. I think it. You know. I think it's great that there's a game that people are really playing a lot. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I just never really got into it, and I. We'll we'll get to uh, Pwn Game Nights later, but I, yeah. I just needed a mouse the whole time. <laughs> Stupid stick. All right. Um. Well, why don't we jump into the bargain bid segment? Ben. Oh. Oh. I. I can talk. Up. Yeah. Oh. oh. What? Um, <laughs> no. Um, my bargain bin for this week is Killzone 2. Uh, you can pick this up at Gamefly. If you have, remember, you get 5% off. Uh, you can pick it up at $23.74. It's a, um, it's a good um, exclusive for the PS3, um, if you don't mind being a midget most of the time. But, you know, it's, it's a good shooter. Graphically, it's awesome. Um, story Storyline, eh. It could be better, but you know you can, you can go through it. Um, wish it was a better online. Maybe I would have kept my copy, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna pick it up for that price though. So definitely definitely worth the pickup. So I never even played through the single player ca- campaign of Killzone Two. I never had the urge. I just got it for multiplayer. I still regret that. But we'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> you had fun last night. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll, we'll talk you about that on the phone night. <laughs> Watch it, woman. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brian, let's go on the DL. What's up? Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this week, uh, uh, we uh, Nintendo announced that on WiiWare, they're going to have five demos you can download. Um, so, you know, so they had a few ones. So there's like Final Fantasy, uh, My Life as a Dark Lord, um, you know, uh, World of Goo, the new Pokemon, I don't know, douchebaggery game <laughs> that they have to download for like, for too much money. <laughs> um, but I think, I think more than just the games, I mean, because especially if you can get a demo of World of Goo, it, it's a lot of fun. Even if you only, I mean, it's especially, especially for the price being free, you know, you really can't go wrong with that. I'm looking to pick up My Life as a Dark Lord just to see what it's like. Um, but I think it's really telling to see Nintendo giving away stuff for free, which is not their MO at all. Uh, so with we were just recently celebrating its first anniversary, I think it's pretty telling to see how badly WiiWare is doing. Of course, this could be fixed by actually having some decent games, but, you know, whatever. I mean, that, that's, just, uh, that's just a minor inconvenience. So, yeah, five demos. Go pick them up. Maybe I'll check it out if I can actually bring myself to turn on my Wii. 
<laughs> All right. Um, Netflix picks this week. Shannon, I'll let you start off with your movie first. Um. Okay. I. Uh, this is what I was going to mention earlier because we were talking about um, Hayao Miyazaki and. It's actually not one of his films. I'm surprised you've never heard of it. I know what you're talking about now. I wasn't even oh. thinking about anime. I was thinking live action when you first talked. Yeah. Um, the Cat Returns, if you're into the whole... If you liked... Let me see. If you liked Kiki's Delivery Service, you will definitely like this. It's not his normal style as far as the animation goes. It's a little more simpler, um, but it, it flows really well. I I really enjoyed it. it. It's basically about this girl who rescues a cat, and he was he happened to be the prince of the cat kingdom, and then it it turns into like you know this whole story with her life just revolving around like all these cats that just start talking to her, and she's like freaking out about it. And then I don't want to give away any like the spoilers or whatever, but it's a really 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 cute movie. Um, they have some pretty good voice acting. Um, Carrie Yule, the guy that played uh, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Oh, he's fucking um, awesome. <laughs> he, the Princess Bride. He, he's um, kind of like the the voice of one of the main cats. Um, Anne Hathaway does the girl's voice. Cool. It's just, it's really, it's a really cute movie. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's definitely not, you know, something that you would expect to like. You know, if you like mature movies, you're not probably gonna like it because it's very kiddish. But I thought it was cute. I really liked it, and I would really recommend people checking it out, especially if you freaking love cats like me. (laughs) Uh, Oh, too many jokes. I'm going to keep them to myself. Oh, shut up. (laughs) (laughs) That would be nice. (laughs) Nah. (laughs) Oh, fuck off, Brian. There you go. (laughs) At least I get fired this time, just yet. No. Early. I'll do that off air. <laughs> <laughs> that way, yeah. next week it'll be like, "Hey, Brian's gone. <laughs> I fired him." <laughs> nah. Um, my Netflix picks this week is um a Korean horror film called Arang. Um, I saw this earlier this year. It's basically about a detective who is investigating a series of uh these strange murders it's very ring like and all that where this girl was killed and she's kind of coming back and getting everybody who was involved in killing them um but it was actually done to the point where it was very creepy i was actually creeped out a lot of them i just like oh god this is so fucking cheesy but this was actually done decently and i thought it was a really good movie overall i um, definitely have to recommend it for those who are actually wondering how that's spelled, it's A R A N G, um, Arang, and you can either get it off Netflix and DVD, or you can check it out on the Instant Watch. So sweet. Definitely have to recommend it. I don't know. I still have yet to watch an Asian film on Instant Watch, so I don't know if they subtitle them or not. I would imagine they do. So I, I hope they do, because I couldn't imagine how bad a Korean, uh, any Asian horror film is done dubbed over. I'm pretty sure it would lose all of its uh, scare. (laughs) Um, But the one cool thing about Arang is how everything at the end is kind of pieced together and you start realizing that a lot of this is kind of like a setup. So it's a cool, like, mystery at the same time. While the horror film's going on, there's a big mystery around it too. So I definitely have to recommend it. Definitely one of the better Asian horror films out there. I'll have to check that out. Well, you know what? I can't because my Xbox would ring. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Until you buy the the Modern Warfare 2 bundle. Oh, Do my it. goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, on the Pwn News front, uh, we held a couple game nights this past uh, weekend. Uh, we had, <clears throat> excuse me. Modern Warfare 2 this past Saturday. I think we had 14 people total um, out of 18 that we could get. So that was fun. It was on the 360. Had a lot of fun. I messed up the knife fight at the end because I didn't realize that all the settings I had in one mode were changed when I went back and changed something. 
because somebody had a riot shield on. <laughs> and it kind of, even though, like, you, we said no riot shields, like, you can't use them. If you have it, like, strapped on your back, it blocks anybody trying to knife you in the back. <laughs> so, nice. I had to back Brilliant. back out, and when I backed back out and went back into the game, it totally screwed up my settings, so. But, it, overall, it was a fun night. Um, something about playing in a private match with a lot of people that you know, or just a lot of people from the site, it plays so much better than when you're playing with a bunch of people you don't know. Oh, that's because if you, you know, if you fuck up, you're just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, I still can't play it off like that, but that's where my game of rage comes in. <laughs> oh my god, why are you taking my kill, you bastard? Nah, it comes in more on Gears than anything, <laughs> but... Shannon, you know how bad Gears is. Yeah, yeah, I remember Gears. Gears 2 isn't much better. I still rage on that one. <laughs> you know, I still have not played that. And I do not plan on playing it. Yeah, I play it once a month for Pwn Game Nights, and that's it's usually fun then. Usually. <laughs> Unless somebody's lagging, and I shoot them in their face, and they keep coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll rage, and I turn off the machine like I did that. <laughs> like we were in the last match of the night and I'm hosting because uh, the whole Pwn game nights I shot the guy dead in the face and he killed me and I went I just dropped my controller walked over to my 360 and went Bloop. I was like fuck that shit I'm done like Nicola called me immediately she knew she was like uh you okay oh I remember that night yeah that was fun. <laughs> Because like, she saw the replay. Or not the replay. She was uh, watching my screen as it happened. And she knew immediately when everything cut off that I was fucking pissed. I was done. So. But, um. And that's why I don't play that game. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we played Killzone 2 actually last night. Um, for the most part, we had fun. Yeah. Um, still some just issues with that game. Uh, the one guy scouting is so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I'll be shooting him dead in the face, like, and he's, like, somehow manages to squeak out of it and kill me and everybody else around me. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, it was really hilarious. At the end of the round, he has 63 points. I think Merrily had 33 points. I had one. <laughs> yeah, Marielli, oh, I love her and her and I go at it every time we're in a game night. We're so competitive at each other. Like, last night was great because it's the first <laughs> one of the maps. The first thing I did was sneak all the way around and then beat her in the back twice. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck now, Marley? Because you can hear each other when you first get killed or somebody or you kill somebody. Your mics kind of sync up and you can hear the shit talking. <laughs> so you, she'd be like, I fucking hate you, Nitro. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. And it would be the same thing back. I'd be like, God damn it, Marty. <laughs> So it was, it's pretty fun that way in Killzone 2. I was, it was nice to see at least eight people show up, too. Because I honestly didn't think we'd get that many, and I thought I'd have to cancel another PS3 night like Uncharted 2. <laughs> Which two people signed up for, or three people signed up for. So. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, yeah it's it kills me. Because the one thing I hear on the site are, we need more PC game nights, we need more PS3 game nights. Funny thing is, all the people clamoring for PS3 game nights never show up. They don't even sign up. So I finally said, fuck it. I'm tired of hearing people cry about it and not do anything. Um, so that was it. We have a Left 4 Dead night coming up this Friday. Um, hopefully, Four, get a couple people. Yeah, no one plays your silly 360. <laughs> um, hopefully, we'll get enough people to play Versus. Because I tend to prefer that when we're doing a game night. Because we can get eight people in there. Um, plus, I'd love to try out the new uh, zombies. Um, and that's pretty much it, because the game night's going to be done. Except for Vulgar's holding some other stuff, like Halo 3 nights and stuff. Uh, Over the next couple uh, weeks. Um, I'll be in Alabama, so. <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm Shannon and I have the exact same reaction. Boo. <laughs> um... Other than that, that's pretty much it for Pwn News. Um, our discussion is basically, hey, we reached 50 episodes. 
Woo-hoo. Yeah, who knew? Um, it started off with me and, as many may know, Clover, um, a.k.a. Stephanie. We had her on um, probably about, what, eight or nine episodes ago? Something I think like so, yeah. Yeah, we had her back on. Um, and then after she left, Shannon took over for a while. Yeah. I think it was about six months, about one episode every two, three. <laughs> for a while yeah, there. We didn't we didn't have a, a set schedule. It was yeah. like a bi weekly thing. Actually it wasn't about... until the set schedule that you were like, I I can't handle this. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do it. It's tough. It is. Mm. I mean, I'll be honest, some nights I almost forget about the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so busy with everything else, I'll be like, Oh shit, I gotta go fucking record. And it's just it is, but um after Shannon as most should know if you've been listening this long. Uh, Brian and Ben took over. Um, I had originally asked Ben. He agreed because I had DJed with Ben on some Korean and other Asian radio stations online. And Brian... What the hell is that? Why did it go quiet? Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, Brian actually offered up to help out yep, and yep. host with me, so I brought them both in, and I couldn't be happier. Me either. All this testosterone, though. Yeah, yeah it was it was sort of weird because it was it was funny because I think I was like the first uh, member on Pwn to be interviewed by by you and and Shannon over here, and I'm like, oh yeah, hey, you know, be on the podcast and whatnot, and then like what two three weeks later, I'm, I'm actually one of the co-hosts. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> we just liked you that much, man. We just yeah. liked you that much. We did have one episode that I hosted alone <laughs> where uh, Mirajel was on there. Jules. Oh, yeah, I remember that. What and I got that? interviewed. Uh, I got interviewed. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good, that was a good that that was, podcast. Yeah. That, that was, was good. hilarious. That so was awful. a good podcast. <laughs> I love that Ron, but that was awful. I was like, "Wait, wait, I have to answer questions." <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> she flipped the script on you. It was just awesome. I know, it was crazy. But um, I mean, since then we've covered E3 uh, from yeah. basically LA. <laughs> yeah. Um. I went to BlizzCon, and yeah. I was still in LA while we were recording. Yeah, we've gone to two packs. Um, two years of packs since then. Wow. Yep. You went last year. I went this year. Yep. Uh, we'll be hitting CES this year. I'll be there. Yeah. And then next year will be PAX East, which is going to be huge. I think the oh, three yeah. of us are going to be going, right? Me, you, and Brian. And Kevin. I and will probably not be able to go. Really? Yeah. Um, basically, I have to pay for a wedding. So... <laughs> I'm gonna try to save up my dollars, like extra yeah, but any it extra. Shouldn't be dollars. that much that bad on expenses because we'll probably split hotels and then if we can all meet up for the drive. See, this is what he does. He talks you into it and makes you feel guilty. Yeah. No, I'm being honest. Like, <laughs> my plan is right now for, to High five, drive Shannon. up, High five. get like four or five people in the car and just drive, switching off every two three hours. Uh... You know, a train ride isn't too bad. I've done that to Boston before. Actually, a train train ride would be fun. Actually, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed a little more relaxing. It oh, would yeah, be absolutely, absolutely. No one has to drive. We all can just relax and BS around. Yeah, I'll still drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just well, not that mode of transportation. Yeah, we'll but then you gotta go through middle. New York. Yeah, it's not gonna be too bad. I've been there. Went down to Queens or up to Queens. So yep, yep. But no, I think we've had the podcast has done very well in its first fifty episodes. I know we have some very dedicated listeners. If all three of them. We had some. Hey, stop that! <laughs> you you are so negative with that. <laughs> we've got very good listeners, and I apologize if. Brian offends at him. <laughs> 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 yes. 
No, we, we, we've had some uh, really big guests on here, um, the Rad Nerds. Um, who, uh, I think we had Rich from, uh, was it now BidMob or yeah, Game well, Toast? Yeah, Game Toast at the time. Rich was on here, so was Adele and um, Rachel. Um, Shannon knows Rachel as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've had the guys from uh, Average Joe Gamer on. Mm-hmm. Those guys are always awesome to have on. And hey, I got to meet. We got to meet. Actually, all of us got to meet uh, uh, Rachel and Rich. Yep. Mm-hmm. I've had the chance to meet Adele before. I didn't realize she was the one on <laughs> Game Topias <laughs> nice. last year at PAX. Um, and then I had a chance to meet Eric from Average Joe Gamer this past summer, which was awesome. Oh, and we look forward to bringing you another 50 episodes and hitting 100. Nothing like Damn. hitting Damn! <laughs> yeah. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're going to have Mo back before then, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. I would love to. You're always I've... welcome back, Shane. If I play no, more Le- damn video games. <laughs> you can only come back every 50 episodes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What was her last episode? It's probably been like 30 so. Uh, I think he was like 16 or 17, something like that. Yeah, we were down there somewhere. <laughs> well, in less than a year, we've already gotten a decent schedule and gotten up to 50, so. Um, I do want to give a shout out to a couple listeners that always either comment or say stuff about it. Um, Snappy tends to always leave a comment in our um, articles. I mm-hmm. um, want to he... thank him for listening, Duddy. Oh, um, Duddy. Yeah, Duddy is a big time listener. He's always commenting about it, how he loves listening to it. Um, going to school, I can't remember. He'll probably tell me later. <laughs> but he tends to listen to it all the time. Uh, Nicola listens to it all the time. Well, That's such a pretty name, by the way. But this is only does 18 do... episodes behind. Yeah. yeah. Does he do it by choice, or do you pretty much, hey, podcast is up? No. She'll tell me when the podcast is up. Because oh. <laughs> we all know Andy isn't exactly the timeliest person at times. So she'll be like, podcast is up. And I'm like, really? Fuck. i got to write an article, and then Brian's usually already on top of it. Well, that's because I normally tell Brian, hey, Brian, yeah. podcast yeah, is like, up. Hey, Brian, this is podcast is up, write an article. All right. Um, <laughs> Mari and Boricua both listen. Um, Ace and or Fred and his wife both listen. She's going to kill me for forgetting her name right now. Mm-hmm. Christy or something like that? Christy, thank you. God. You're awful. It's late. I'd like to apologize. I don't really okay. 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 so I've watch. always called her um sweet because it's sweet cheeks on pone. And I was trying to remember her actual real name. Because I don't always call these people by their real name. That's the sad thing about being a gamer. You will forget a lot of people's real names because you just know them by their online persona. Yeah. No, but, um if we forgot you, it, it's Nothing against you. We've I know we've got a good amount of listeners, and we thank you guys for constantly listening. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, another one that Shannon knows, um, Shockman Ronan. Hello, Wes, Shockman. Yeah, uh, Wes um, wrote in recently, actually. Really? Hey, we was talking about the um, Modern Warfare on two on the PC, not including the uh, dedicated servers. Mm-hmm. Well, I think, yeah, Apparently, you somebody count. cracked that though, right? So I heard yeah, I, I heard someone it. cracked that already. Good. So, yeah, I think I was at school when, when I read that article. I'm like, wow, all right. <laughs> Somebody's actually cracked Borderlands on the PC to customize and make their own guns. Nice. Wow. They should have just made that available anyway. They should have yeah. just made that available. They should. I don't see why not. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out um, to the people. You guys should know Chastity, um, a.k.a. New York Kenya. She works with um, Damon. They tend to do the Underground Gaming Series and now Infamous Gamers. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. They're actually doing uh, Gamers United 2009. 
It's basically they're hosting a party in the honor of the Teen Lounge of Mattel Children's Hospitals of UCLA. Excuse me. Apologize. Um, the organization's choosing to be involved with Gamers United. Each truly believe in the value of giving back to young gamers, especially those who wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity. This year's beneficiary, um, Mattel Children's Hospital UCLA, was chosen because hospitals are always in need of support from the community. Um, Chastity basically put out a statement saying, when I called and found out they had a teen lounge whose gaming equipment was in disrepair and just needed an upgrade, she decided this was the organization I wanted to fight for this year. Uh, Very cool. That's rad. Yeah. That's awesome. Amy Bullock of the Child Life Child Development of the hospital stated, the equipment of our lounge gets a high rate of use and our equipment is donated, so we are happy to be able to work with Gamers United for the patients. So, basically, they're working off donated equipment, and you know how that can be. Uh-huh. You get a lot of use, already beat up, and by the time it's done, after probably about a few months, it's already seen a lot of use. Um, I'll be posting an article, hopefully tomorrow, on it, so people can check it out. Um, they're gonna yeah. actually going to have the event out in L.A. on December 9th at 7 p.m., um, the attire is after five, either cocktail hour or business casual. Donations are easy. Bring a game, game accessory or peripheral, or the like. Um, if you need to make prior arrangements, you can email info at thegamersunited.org. Games cannot be rated M or mature. I mean, that's obvious. Let's go into a hospital. Bring everyone, everyone 10 plus or teen. So... I'll be posting a bigger article on it, and hopefully people will be able to help out, um, if not go. So, See, um, it's a story like this that, you know, I wish that gets more light than, well, you know, all the negative stories that, that we hear from, from well, gamers. And here's some of the guests they had last year for when they did it. They had Activision, Top Cow, EA, Women in Gaming International, Dennis Rodman, and more came out. Dennis Rodman? <laughs> Hey, hey. That's you know, so, dude, that guy is the crazy. guy's crazy, but he gives a lot back. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I a lot of people may think I'm crazy for actually reading his original autobiography, <laughs> but there's a lot more to that guy than his crazy antics. Like some of the stuff he's been through is kind of crazy. So, but he's always been one to give back. People see what the media wants to see, but. They forget that these people do give back to the community. But people just want to think about people like Derek Jeter. <laughs> what a douche. I agree. Well, you know, the best part is is you're going to write this article, you're going to put it on Reddit, and it's going to get downvoted. Which is yeah. sad. Yeah. But um, already on board and happy to welcome back the Custom Hotel, Nyko Technologies, Gaming Angels, Momoko, and Pwn will be the, um, sponsoring. They're also going to have Coinop TV, World Cyber Games, Infamous Gamers, and the cast of Hollywood. If you yes. guys haven't seen Hollywood yet, that's rad. Yeah. It's so fucking rad. Fucking go watch that shit. Yeah. That I shit is I, fucking Tracy, awesome. Tracy needs to answer me how she got Andy, Andy to dance like that. Oh my god, I know. Andy in the background dancing. I was like, they must have drugged him because Andy is like the shyest person who doesn't. We had to push him to get on that Tony Hawk ride. Part. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. And but, I don't know how she got him to dance. Yeah, I mean, I wanna, it must have been like, put me in the back and I'll do it. Because he was like in the far back corner. <laughs> no, <laughs> Tracy needs to answer me that because I really want to know. Oh, that was hilarious. But that was, a, that was a great short. I hope to see them do more in the future. I really definitely. do. Definitely. Because that was, that was fun. That was definitely fun. So check out Hollywood's. Google it. Can't miss that. Oh, awesome. It was put together by Tracy King. Um, for those, that's, uh, Bo Ryan's wife. Um, he was part of Rad Nerd, for those who remember that episode. So, don't forget to check that out. That was, like, episode 32. Yeah, yeah. we're bad on the episodes. I don't have, like, the... <laughs> they actually have their own show on, uh, the stream.tv, by the yeah. way. Which yeah. has yeah. now reached the top ten. I think six. They're now six. Yep. They were, yep. Oh. Episode 32 was Rad Nerd Invasion. And episode 34 is when we had Clover on. (laughs) 
You know, I had episode 37 as titled as the Evening with Rachel. I wish I had done a Rachel of Sunshine. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I want the cheesy episodes, because that's, oh. that's what you remember, though. Is it? Come on. Is it? Dude, you're getting Adele. You can't forget a name like that. Oh my god. The 80s, uh, or... Where's that? Uh, where's that camera? Or, <laughs> wait, 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 where's the best one? Our favorite episode was Ben, Squeak, Squeak, Thump. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classic. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I fucking hate you all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to see, oh, Moe's Goodbye was episode 16. Wow. Holy yeah. shit. February 9th. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, where, where Mo was like, you better do a good job. And I'm like thinking, oh, great. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, shit, you made it to 50. You must be doing something right. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, you're just persistent. <laughs> Actually, it's kind Go of funny. The first episode she was on, <laughs> me and my cheesy oh, they, names, they I, I nicknamed the episode Mo, Mo Money Mo Problems. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you you know, Shannon, they need to have the Asian quota somewhere, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, the funny part was on episode 10 when we talked about, um, what's her name from, uh, Soul Calibur. Oh, Taiki. And her, 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 what did I call him? What did I call him? I tossed shit. Torpedo titties or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then you had your famous rant on girl gamers. Oh my god. Oh no, that wasn't that one. Which one was, was that? that one? Oh, I don't know. I remember that. I, I, just, I was like, I'm not going to talk about it. And then I went in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then she just started. No, actually, we called the episode 10 a titillating time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. Episode 9 was it. It was packed with... And the impressions, because I was nice enough in the description, said, and Mo shares her thoughts on girl gamers. I didn't say <laughs> she fucking goes off. <laughs> but she basically, you're like, I'm not going to talk about it. You even said it at the beginning of the episode, then we got it. You're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, how about the episode where, uh, Aunt, when you guys interviewed Andy and Andy was playing Call of Duty? <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, oh, yeah, yeah play Call of Duty, just don't mind me. But listen to these episode titles. When Rich was on Enrichment. <laughs> when Wes from Ravager Gamer was on West Side Connection. <laughs> Eric uh, Glover from Ravager Gamer. I said, check the glove box. Oh my uh, gosh. Nate from there. I said, a twist of Nate. <laughs> Fucking horror. Yeah. Bring the class up every episode. This? Yeah. Class. I don't know what I'm going to call this one, because honestly, it'll probably just be something simple. <laughs> the 50. I'll feel so unloved then. <laughs> I don't get the special treatment. I'll figure out something. I have a day. So I'll probably <laughs> get it edited by tomorrow night and have it up to Andy. And I'll be pushing the good, up the mo, and the 50. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure out something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, oh, this has been sufficiently fun. awkward. No, this is a... <laughs> I was about to talk and you were like cutting me off. I see how it is. Yeah. You no, do you're... that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no. But um no, we thank you, Mo, for coming on for the fiftieth. Thank you yeah. for inviting me. Oh, I'm we had to. Guys. It's an important episode. We're at a half century mark. <laughs> Getting old. Hey, you were one of the original co-hosts. I mean, first, I mean, you started at episode seven, so and went yeah. for about eleven or ten episodes. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't think there's gonna be anything afterwards, so I gotta th still thank Brian and Ben for taking over. And Clover, I know you couldn't make it. Thanks for originally starting the podcast with me. How did it all start? Stuff. Huh? How did it all start? To just decide one day you guys were going to have no, a podcast? I or? was going to start a podcast, and at the time, she was... I wanted a female perspective as the other co-host. And now she we have was been. the one 
Ha 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 ha. No, but um, she was it's like one of the most active on Pwned, and she was always really knowledgeable, especially in the PC side, which I really didn't play at the time at all. So I figured, why not? And I approached her, and after that, um, with Mo, it was like her and I, we instantly clicked when we realized we probably have met each other before. Mm -hmm. We had the same friends, we were in the anime, gaming, all that, and we were always playing online with, like, Call of Duty 4. So it was kind of like I brought her on, and she just got too busy. (laughs) Um, I know, I'm She got too good for you. No, I didn't! (laughs) (laughs) Wow, she was quick to snap at you. Yeah. Watch what you say. You'll lose them nuts. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and then, like I said before, I needed a co-host, and Ben was um, the one that I knew I've d- done work with before, so I asked him, and then Brian quickly jumped on as well and said, hey, I want to help. And I was like, you know what? Why not do three? It'll give just uh, it'll give a little more to talk about. Mm-hmm. I think two people works okay, but I think having three is a lot better, and always bringing in a guest host from time to time helps evenly round that out, especially when it's a female. Yep. Well, you know, we struggle to find people to come on, too. Like, people yeah. that actually, like, make the time and stuff. So, I think oh. three definitely definitely makes that a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, because if you can't find someone, there's always a third person there. So, it's not you're not just listening to the same two people talking. Mm-hmm. You have three people going at it, so. But it's been fun. This fu- this long, and I expect it to be fun for the next 50 as well. Yep, yep. Mo, Shannon, you're always welcome back. Absolutely. I will definitely be back. I will be back. But you have to start playing some games after you get your... Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, actually, I think we're probably just going to end up getting a new one, so... Yeah. Probably worth, not worth the hassle of <laughs> sending it out to Microsoft. Yeah. Well, they give you a free label. You just have to find a box for it. Yeah, but I think this one's beyond its three years. Yeah, might as well get the Modern Warfare 2 bundle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, you got $500 you want to give me? 500 it's 400 <laughs> Well, I mean, yes. It's, that's yeah. what you're savings for. <laughs> that's what <Yeah>. you said. <laughs> 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 oh, we shall see, guys. We shall see. So, but... So this is the end of episode 50. Um, real quick, you can find us at the typical pwn.com, twitter.com, um, some of us at facebook.com, slash gnitro, church4252, slash quiglin, and uh, twitter.com slash mopower. Yes. M-O-E, power, for Shannon. Um, I don't know, Facebook, do you have... I do, but I don't know my thing. Oh, okay. So. I'm going to probably end up doing it eventually. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> yeah. I've actually That's had right. a you lot need of to, so you can join. Yep. You can join us with Farmville. You can just farm no, for us. No, no. Fuck I that. refuse to join that shit. I tried <laughs> Yoville for like 20 minutes. I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm done. I need to get rid of it. My girlfriend got me into it, so I was like, every yeah, day, she's like, did yeah. you check your farm? Can you check my farm? No excuses. <laughs> you enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it so much that I am like in, what, level 30-something right now. Wow. The real problem is, is like, people at work have it, and they, for some reason, like, love it, and that's all they do, and I just don't want them to know about me. I just don't like them that much. Yeah, well, my coworkers have just started adding me on there. It's kind of awkward at times. Like, I saw my boss on there, and I'm like, I, I want to add him. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of awkward to add my boss. <laughs> what if I say I'm sick one day, and then I'm on Facebook going, Ah, oh, look what I'm doing! <laughs> You're like, I'm having a great time! <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would matter with my work. They don't really care too much. As long as, they're, as, long as they have the coverage, but... Anyway, sorry. But anyway, we're going off on a tangent again. <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, we we're going to head out of here. Thanks again to Shannon for coming on. Yep, yep. Um, Yay, Shannon! Woo! Yeah! Party! <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Don't forget to check out 
is it Lucille? Luciocomic.blogspot.com. I always follow your Twitter when you post a new thing. That's how I always find it. <laughs> and as soon as I get off of this, I'm going to post a new one. So. Oh, sweet. Nice. So yeah, everybody should check that out. Uh, I want to thank everybody for listening to us this long. And we hope that you continue to listen to us as we try to reach 100. And we are out. Peace. Bye. Later. Peace.